guys, it's Ta. Welcome back. So today I have for you guys a Dollar Tree haul. Um, it's it's very small, but I have a few things that well, two things specifically I was super excited about finding, and a third thing that I was like, ha. Ah. So anyway, let's do this. Um, I got the old mom. I need more canvases routine again. So I got her. Or should I say she got her. She picked out five of the um, six by eight canvases. And then she needed some paints because she was out of white. She was out of red. And she said she was out of orange. But she also needs, what was it she told me? Some kind of teal color she's out of and another color. And I'm like, really? So we'll have to make another paint trip but they really didn't have much paint out it was kind of sad and then she saw these and she just had to have them i don't know what she's going to do with these and neither does she they are the seven piece mini containers with the corks she picked them out don't know what she's doing with them so as soon as we figure that out i'll let you guys know because i don't know the only thing i thought of with those is like um Maybe do some type of glitter necklace or something that resembles like fairiness. Or maybe um, what are, dandelions. Is that those type of... Which flower is it that you blow on and make a wish and it all the little pieces go? I've seen people use that in those as like a necklace. But they use a smaller one. So anyway. And then the hubby's been experimenting with different colognes and sprays and whatever. I had got him a whole bunch, of course, whenever all the gift sets were on sale. But he just wants something different all the time. He's like, because he used to only wear one kind. And he's like, well, I just want to mix it up. So I found this. It's Luxury Men, our version of Ed Hardy for Men by Ed Hardy, body spray number five. Um, and this smells pretty good. Considering it's from the Dollar Tree. It smells really good. I don't know how it's going to smell on. Because, you know, sometimes... I know... Ooh, that's kind of strong. I sprayed a... It all came back at me. Um, sometimes, like, I know with perfume for me, it smells different on me than it smells on the bottle. Or it smells different on somebody else because of, like, your whole chemical makeup. So, I don't know how it's going to smell on him. And then I got two sets of these plain cups. They're just white. Um... And they're like this big. I know the light makes it kind of hard to see. See? Nothing huge. And I thought these would be perfect for um, like teacher gifts or a small Christmas gift or something. Or even like a small birthday gift. Put somebody's name or like a saying on the cup. Put some stuff in it. Wrap it in cellophane and you're good to go. So I picked up two packs. Because I'm going to try it out on a few... Um, few different things and see if it, how the final sticks to it or um, I was thinking about using the like paint markers to see because I don't know who her teacher is going to be because um, they had something that said they were hiring third grade teachers at her school because one of them retired for sure I know that and I don't know about the one that was left because there was only two of them there so I don't want to put anybody's name on them yet because I don't know. The only people that I know of are the PE coaches because those are for everybody. They never change. So, we shall see. And then the thing I was super excited about is, if you guys watched a couple weeks ago, I had hauled those cups. I had the big ones. I had four of them. And then I could only find one of the small ones. I found three more. So, now I have four small ones and four big ones. And they only had three left. I was like, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. These are meant to be mine. So I got those. Now I have like the whole little set. And then I seen they had um, like a stemmed glass, like a wine glass for these. Not that I drink wine because I don't. It smells like feet to me. Um, I've never, I, I guess I just never had a good wine. So um, yeah, not a wine person. But I thought about getting them, but then I decided not to. 
All right, so these last two things that I'm about to show you guys were like, I was almost jumping up and down. Abby was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm so excited I found this. And you know it's hot already. You get that mask on. I was like jumping up and down. It was, it was crazy. So first thing I got was this. It is Scissors Paper Craft. I had never seen this book before. And this is made by Barron's. Um, I guess that's the person who um, published it. There we go, publisher. And it is regular $16.99 in the U.S. And inside of it, I kind of did like a flip through, but it seemed cool enough. Um, I'm trying to get to something so I can show y'all. It, like this right here, it is a bird cage pop-up card. And you have instructions for it what you're gonna need um, and there is a template in the back on page 118 to be exact and you trace the template twice because you you know you're doing a card you got to have one for each side you trace it you cut it and then you put it together so I thought it was really neat and if like for someone who doesn't have any type of die cuts or a die cutting machine a cameo a crack a cricket um any electronic cuttings like this would be perfect because not only does it give you really cool ideas but it gives you templates to follow and some places that you look for a new crafting item like a new like a card you want to make a card but you don't have any of those things they don't always come with the template but in this book it does and like even this for a rose gift tag show it tells you how to cut it how to twirl it and you get the little roses and you and it has how to do leaves it has how to do feathers um water lily table centerpieces stars that make it look 3d um there's even like what is this owl gift boxes and a daisy gift tag so there are tons of ideas in here and for a buck you can get all these ideas like what so i think um i'm gonna check out my other dollar tree and get two more of these because if you guys remember um i showed y'all the stuff that i got at joann's on the joann's haul and I was when I was talking about doing another challenge crafting challenge giveaway I had one item well two items one it would be two winners for it I can add that to it amongst other things as well and then this other thing that I got yes yes so one more thing this one was regular $24.95 and it was published by blue streak books and it is a holiday paper crafts and inside of this one there are pages upon pages just like the other one of things you can make but the difference is this one comes with this pocket and when you open this pocket hold on you can't do it backwards there are Trying to get it all out. Pages, like colorful pages. There are stencils. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Letter stencils. There are shapes in stencils. This looks like it would be some cards. It has the crease. I know it's not the best lighting right here. Like, I think I have it too bright. Anyway, um, so you can make cards, and then if you keep going, there's like boxes you can fold and make. This looks like it's a little house or village you can put together. Like so many things, and then they have printed, um, like scenescapes, I guess. And they have like that, and then it has the page numbers on it. Um, like this one is for page 17 so you go to the book page 17 so let's do that right now so we can get an idea of what this is 
page 17. 15, 16, 17. Okay, this is a silhouette scene and it says, um, silhouette pattern included, which was what I showed you guys on this paper. And it's really big, it opens up this way and then it opens up one more time. And it says, put your cutting skills to the test with these detailed winter silhouettes. There may be only a few steps for this project but don't be fooled, completing these scenes will take plenty of patience and a steady hand. However, you'll love the sophisticated result. To get started, retrieve the large pattern um, that's labeled page 17. And then it shows you, it tells you um, what to do. You tape it down, you cut it out, and then you're gonna wind up with a scene. And then you can display the scene like they have it here on a shelf and there, right there. So it gives you like that winter look you can put somewhere else. And it says difficulty is hard with a time lot of two plus hours. And then there's like right here, Merry Christmas Garland. And it's the word they have um, on another one. You're gonna cut out the Merry Christmas. You're gonna attach it with strings and it makes a garland. So yeah, it, and there's origami. What else do they have in here? Paper cutting, origami, kirigami, whatever that is. I've never heard of kirigami. I'm gonna have to look exactly the termage of that. I guess it would be like this is listed under kirigami. So I guess origami that's um, 3D. But isn't origami already 3D? I don't know. So what is kirigami? What's the definition? I'm gonna have to go look that up. Hmm, and this is kirigami as well. So I guess it might be the fact that it's a 3D shape. I know you really can't tell, but it's a slit through but anyway I'll shut up about this book but I was so excited to find this book they have some really cool stuff in here and again for a buck what so I'm definitely gonna go get two more of the other books I might wind up getting another one of these and just do like a random hey who wants one um, giveaway and select somebody from the comments that would be fun right would you guys like that if I could find another one they only had one of each at my store, so I don't know how many, like I don't know how much each store got, or if every store got them. But I thought it was pretty neat. Gives you other ideas to craft from. Um, something that you could do without having to really think about what you're doing. Because all the instructions and all the supplies are in here, other than like your glue, if you wanted to add glitter, um, so most of it, you just need some type of scissors. Now I can't get it all back in the pretty packaging. I'm gonna have to work on that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my Dollar Tree haul, which again, very small, but I actually extended the video because I don't know how to shut up about the books I find. I know, I, I, sometimes I really aggravate myself because books are like one thing I have to talk about I love to read. Um, I actually, let me just tell this one more tidbit and I'll let you guys go, I promise. I actually went through my Kindle Unlimited, which I signed up for in May for a two month free subscription. And then I just paid my first one at the beginning of July. Um, and from May to now, I have read 90, I think I'm at 97 books right now. 97 books y'all um between reading and recording and watching other youtubers and all that good stuff i've been lacking in some areas like housework it's not horrible but you know i need to get back on my game so again i will let you guys go and i will see you tomorrow which is friday Hopefully you guys start off with a good Friday for that fabulous weekend. Bye, y'all.